What's up guys? Today the focus of my presentation is to give you a better understanding of bonds and investment ideas for it. A bond is simply a loan given to a company or government by an investor. By issuing a bond, a company or government borrows money from investors who in return are paid interest on the money they've loaned. Companies and governments issue bonds frequently to fund new projects or ongoing expenses. Some investors use bonds in hopes of preserving the money they have while also generating additional income. Bonds are often viewed as a less risky alternative to stocks and are sometimes used to diversify a portfolio. Now we are going to discuss about per premium and discount bond. So let's pretend that you have $100,000 to invest bond. Let's say we're going to buy a bond for $100,000 and the stated rate is 10% and term is for 5 years. And the interest each year will be 10% of $100,000 or $10,000 of interest a year for 5 years. State rate is equal to the market rate. Then they will be traded at par which just means that the amount that you invest. $100,000 will be the same as the face value or the amount that they'll pay you back at the end which is also $100,000. Now let's say one year from today we decide to buy another $100,000 bond but interest rates have changed due to market supply and demand and the second bond is going to be issued at 12%. The face value is going to be the same. It's going to be $100,000. And the interest is going to be 12% of $100,000 or $12,000 a year. This means that you can purchase that $100,000 bond from only $93,000. But the important part is recognizing that you as the bond holder purchased the bond for less than face value. So this bond is now discounted. Now let's say that the face value is going to be for $100,000 again, but the market rate is 8%. So, this bond will be trading at the premium, so when the stated is greater than the market rate, then it's going to be trading at a premium because more people want this 10% bond. Therefore, they need to raise the price to cover the demand for it. So, this is pretty much about how discount and premium work. One point I would like to emphasize is that discount and premium do not represent which bond is better or worse to buy. It represents that the stated rate is less than the market rate or that the stated rate is greater than the market rate. You may think TLT sounds like a safe investment because its underlying assets are US government securities which many consider a risk-free asset. TLT follows the interest rates that occurs with the 20 years treasury bond. Here we have the chart that shows performance comparison between S&P 500 shown in red and TLT shown in blue. We had something called the financial crisis in 2008 and we had a pandemic occurring in 2020. At this time, Fed cut interest rates and things were popping for TLT. The market was going down around this time, but TLT goes up. It's basically these two securities are the inverse of each other, so when one goes up, the other goes down. As you can see, 5 shares of TLT are included in my portfolio. 1 share of Amazon, 1 share of Tesla, and 1 share of Nvidia are newly included in my portfolio as well. And I'll share my investment ideas in the next time. Today, I've discussed about bonds and TLT. Next time, what I'm going to do is to discuss about more details about bonds. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you're going to show me some love by smashing thumbs up button and leave me a comment down there on your opinions. See ya!